Hello, movie lovers, and welcome to CML Theater Movie Review, home of independent films. Listen, right, you ever had a movie that just pulled you in so strongly and then took an effect on you, but then on top of that, you end up being mindfucked just like the person was in the movie? Oh, yeah, the movie did its job, and we're about to talk about that right now. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Jack Goes Home, written and directed by Thomas Decker. This movie was off the chain. And when I say off the chain, I'm not like over exaggerating the situation. Like this movie was really good, well directed, well everything, well shot, well written, well acted. The movie starts off with Jack being at work, played by Roy Calkin. And he's, you know, writing a poem on a computer or whatever. And everything he was saying, this this was perfectly written. Like whoever wrote that poem did a really good job. I mean, kudos to you. <laughs> and then his friend ends up interrupting him and talking to him or whatever. And then you know Jack gets this phone call about his parents. And that meant, you know it, it didn't. It, he just it just kind of just showed him in that moment of just being on the phone. But then he then he end up being home. You know his girlfriend. His sorry his. Beyonce texted him on the phone because he wanted to Skype with him. So he's on the Skype with his girlfriend. Now, I mean, his his fiance is taking care of her mom. So she's she's telling you know telling Jack about her mom, like saying she don't like how the her family is acting like you know her her, her mother isn't dying, like how they're just treating it like nothing is going to happen, and that really bothers her. But then he goes, oh, okay. He said, well. I found out that my parents got into a car crash, a car accident today. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. He's like, yeah, my mom survived, but my dad died today. He's like, oh, no, that I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Jack. He was, But the way he said it was like as if he did not give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> he just said it. And then he got there to smirk as while he said it. He's like, yeah, you know, my dad was in the... Um, he 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 died in a car crash, and it turns out that um, his neck was decapitated, and he was like bleeding all out and all these things. But the way he was saying it, like he was not saying it the way I'm saying it. Like he just said it with a with a with a straight face, and then with a little smirk to it, as if it didn't even affect. Even even his fiance was like, "Yeah, but like, aren't you sad that your father died? You guys were like best friends. Like what what?" Wow. Like, and seriously, like the way he said it was just so, like, just so crazy. So his best friend ended up coming over to the house because she found out about his parents or whatever. And she went to stay with Jack, you know, until the next day, until the, till the, uh, what, till the next morning? Mm -hmm. So he can um, go back home and, and, and see, see how his mom doing and stuff like that. So that same night, within that night, you see his best friend, you know, she's on the phone, played by Lavania Chase. You know, she's on the phone. Talking to a girlfriend, and she said, "You know, I just want to keep an eye on, just make sure he's okay." And next thing you know, Jack is just in the hallway, like in his underwear, completely gone. Like he he he's sleepwalking, but he's completely gone. He's talking about something in the attic, which is that was really crazy. But then he flips out, he snaps, he end up smacking his friend and beating her up. It was crazy. So the next day, he end up going home. He's seeing his mother, played by Lynn Shay. She is off the chain, like like Rory. <laughs> Roy Calkin and Lynn Shane is absolute awesome. Like, like when you see them two on set or on screen, they're every on screen appearance just have an effect to it. And before I get any further in this movie, let's get this movie ready, shall we? If this movie, two thumbs up and a big ass smiley face. Oh yeah. The movie is like a mystery horror thriller. So it got it got a little mist of everything. Like and, and the movie keeps you at the edge of your seat. Like, it, it had me at the edge of my seat, and I felt like I was Jack watching this movie because I love a movie that could just, that's so powerfully written, so powerfully acted. Like, whoever cast all these beautiful people for this movie, they did a good damn job because everybody was on point on their roles, and this movie was effective. Even the horror aspect inside of this movie was effective. There have been a lot of WTF moments where I was just, like, stuck with my mouth jammed open. Y'all can check this movie out now on Amazon. You can rent it for what? $6.99 $6 and you can buy it for $9.99.
That's not bad, y'all. And this is an awesome movie. Like I said, I'm not giving away no spoilers because I don't believe in spoiling movies. I want you to see this movie for yourself. Jack Goes Home. This is a real awesome movie. Like I said, Lin Shay killed it. Rory Culkin killed it. Um, everyone, every single person in this movie, when they're on scene, they kills it. And this movie is that good. I'm telling you, it got my highest rating. I highly recommend it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Jack Goes Home because I already told you what I thought about it. It got my highest rating. My highest. <laughs> my highest recommendation. This is this is an owner. You must own this movie. If you don't own this movie, something is wrong. This movie needs to be in your collection. Like I said, I love this movie. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliantly written. Shout out to the director. He wrote and directed this movie. Kudos, man. Kudos. Because there ain't too many directors out here like you. And to all my movie lovers, I love you.